What's up everybody? You got another video here for you. This time we're going to solve this equation. So let's take a look at it and see if we can solve it. And before you watch the video, why don't you pause it and try it out yourself before I do. All right, so let's get started. So if you notice, I've got this x plus 4 cubed. And then this right here kind of seems out of whack, but if we do this x plus 4 cubed and let's factor out a negative 9 and that'll leave us with x plus 4 okay we just factored a 9 out of the a negative 9 out of this part all right let me do that in a different color factored a negative 9 out of there now notice what i have here i have a common factor of x plus 4 that i can factor out so I've got x plus 4 times, and if I take an x plus 4 out of here, I'm left with the x plus 4 squared. If I take an x plus 4 out of this one, I'm left with just the minus 9. Okay. All right. Now, let's look at this part. That's just the difference of two squares. This is a squared minus b squared. Because I can rewrite that as x plus 4 times x plus 4 squared minus 3 squared equals 0. Now I change the brackets to parentheses. That's not a big deal. But that's the difference of two squares. And we know that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b. And so in this case, a is equal to x plus 4 and b is equal to 3. So I've got x plus 4. I'm just rewriting this down. And now factoring this, it's a, which is x plus 4, minus b times a, which is x plus 4, plus b, equals 0. And so that gives me x plus 4 times x plus 1 times x plus 7 equals 0. And so now I've got x plus 4 equals 0, or x plus 1 equals 0, or x plus 7 equals 0. Subtract 4 to both sides, I get x equal negative 4. Subtract 1 to both sides, x equals negative 1. Or subtract 7 to both sides, x equal negative 7. And there's my three solutions. That wasn't too bad. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see y'all in the next one. Later.